The real true nonconformist children in this country are sick and tired of their parents, their schools, their people force feeding them what to do. I'm bringing us to a revolution against the government, against the police, against any form of society that is trying to put us down and restrict us in any way, shape or manner. You cannot conform. You must be a true nonconformist. To hell with what your parents have to say. Okay, okay. I am the man. Okay. So all you have to do is listen to what I have to say. Okay, well you can look at violence from two sides of the spectrum here. Listen, you can look okay, if I'm a victim, I can grow strength from being a victim because I'm not gonna let it happen to me again. And if I'm the predator, if you people out there, life is too short to play the waiting game. If there are people out there, if you got something I want. What do you got? The first thing you're going to tell me is why don't you submit it on paper? Why don't you hold up a picket sign? No, I'll put a gun to your head and I'll take it because I ain't got the time to wait. I'm out to inflict pain on people as much as I'm into inflict pain on myself. And that pain creates strength, power, and endurance because if you put yourself through that tragedy every day, you can face that tragedy when it hits you. My motto is tomorrow ain't here. Live for today. Do whatever you want to do today. Spend it up. Do it. Do it hard. And if tomorrow gets you, you worry about that. If you seek death to accelerate life, which is actually true, because you're living so fast and you're putting so much time, so much, so many years in such a little bit of time, that if I was to die tomorrow, I'd probably still live more years than, than most people do anyway. And by them con condemning me, what they're doing is condemning the whole underground scene in general, and we can't be stopped, and I won't be stopped narrow-minded, hypocritical puppets of society trying to kill rock and roll and they can't do it. The defense argued Allen was exercising his right of free expression, but he defecated on stage and threw feces into the audience. I don't bid off it or change my clothes. I hang out with Jim Bean and I do not record for popularity. I do it for myself only because it's my life. There we go. <laughs> The whole thing they, with, with society today is, you know, go to school, get a job, get married, and have kids, and take out loans, and dig a hole that you can never get out of. And, and, and to me, that's just the way of, of, of the government chaining you down so that you can never get out of their grip. And somebody like me, who, who, who can do whatever they want, I never have to pay taxes, I can, you know, fuck whoever I want, I can go here, I can go there, I can... You know, if somebody calls me, I can go tomorrow. I don't have to think about, well, I got to take care of this. It's like, I can just go. I may have gone to the fucking hospital, and I may have done these things, but I never fucking cried wolf. When I say I'm going to fucking kill myself on October 31st, 1990, I'm going to fucking do it. People say they're going to do shit, they don't do it. I'm going all the way with it. The ultimate rock and roll sacrifice is death. When I die, I don't die, my soul goes on, it's another adventure, and then I can, I can accelerate into the next life and still leave my blood here to be the blood of rock and roll, and it will still be here if I'll never go away. You know, when I'm dead, I will become stronger on earth, and I'll become more powerful in the next life. There is no death. If I kill myself, it doesn't stop the mission at all. The mission goes on and on and on. My whole thing is I, I look for myself, the mission is like, and I, you can't be stopped if you're in that position because nothing can take away from it. The only thing I think about is what I got to do, and if you're there, you're there, and if you're not, you're gone.